Hello, my name's Claire Wainwright and I'm a stained glass designer maker. I work from my home studio in Birmingham, which is where I am now, also known as my spare bedroom. Uh, and now I thought I'd just give you a quick demonstration of how to do a copper foiled or Tiffany method uh, little star. It's a four step process and I'll just go through each stage and show you how I do it. So to start with, um, it involves um, cutting the pieces of glass. I hope you can see the pattern here I have on my board. This is the star that I'm going to be making. Um, so the first step is to cut the points of the star. You can see here I've got a point already cut. After the pieces have been cut, they then need to be ground around the edges um, with my grinder to give this sort of slightly frosty look to the edges. This is for two reasons, partly because it grinds out any uh, lumps or bumps that you might have on the glass, but also it creates this surface which makes the copper foil, which is the next stage of the process, stick better to the glass. Here's one with the copper foil um, stuck around the edges. And once the copper foils around the edges, all the pieces can then be soldered together. Um, so I'll just go through it step by step and I'll show you how to cut um, the piece of glass first. So you have a little piece of glass. I'll just lay it on my pattern here like this and using my ruler and my straight edge, I'm just going to make this cut. It's just about applying nice, even pressure all the way down and you'll hear really if you've made a nice cut you'll hear that lovely sound as you go. It's quite a small little cut. I'm just going to take that off with my grosing pliers like that, snap that away, put it back down on the pattern and I'll just do the second cut down this way. Again, it's just one cut with nice firm pressure all the way down. Like that. And then just break it away with your grosing pliers. After you've done the cut, so then as I said earlier, the edges need to be um, ground. And after that, you put some copper tape around the edge of the piece, which I will show you how to do now as well. Um, this is the copper tape that we're using today. It's got silver back, it's self-adhesive. And what's important is that you just need to lay your piece of glass right into the centre of the piece of tape. So the glass goes right into the centre. It's easiest if you can just lay the tape across your hand and almost roll the piece of glass round onto the tape. And then you can cut it off level with the corner, like so and just fold the tape round the glass. And then using a marker pen, which is the best bit of equipment for doing this, just rub the tape down really well. You need to make sure that the tape is stuck down really well. Otherwise, at some future date, your star, whatever you're making, uh, will just fall apart. So rub that down really well. And when you've rubbed that down, you're then ready to lay all the pieces out onto your pattern, ready to solder them together. So here's one that I prepared earlier. I'll just whiz across here. So you can see all the pieces here, they've all been cut, ground, they've all had their copper tape put around the edges and they're all laid out into the star shape. The next thing to do is, which people forget to do all the time when I'm teaching, is that you need to put some flux along these joins. To start with, we're just going to join the points onto the centre of the star. If you don't remember to put flux on, the solder just won't stick. A little bit of flux there. And then I'm just going to melt a little bit of solder onto my soldering iron and just drop the soldering iron down to just attach each point onto the star like that. When you've got each point attached, it's then a good idea to slide your piece of work off all the paper and board you're on, just onto your main board for soldering. Like so. And at this point, you can then put a bit of flux around all the edges. Everything that's copper needs to be covered up with a bit of flux. And then it's just about putting a very thin layer of solder over the edge of all these points. Just a little bit will go a long way around here. And then spreading out these places where the points join onto the centre. 
these joins there need to be built up a little bit to make them neater and also if you build them up a bit they will have a bit more strength to them so it's just a little bit of solder just let the solder flow to make those joins nice and neat one last one and that's all there is to it really obviously you would then turn this over and um, do exactly the same thing on the other side and then just attach a jump ring um, for hanging it up and in true style here's one that I completed earlier with the jump ring um, on the top nice little bead decoration ready for hanging and these I sell all year round not just for Christmas people seem to buy them um, all the time if you want to have a look at these and all the other things that I make, uh, have a look at my website. It's www.clairewainwrightglassart.co.uk um, or follow me on Facebook, which is Claire Wainwright Glass Art. Thanks for watching. Bye.